Hi, my name is Hannah. I'm the contributing food editor of Always Taste magazine and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my ultimate cauliflower soup and we're going to show you how to make a cheeky little cheese on toast on the side. So let's get started. Obviously as a time saver I like to buy the Willy's um, cauliflower florets already done and clean for you so that's already job one done and dusted. And then for the base of my soup I've got our beautiful baby leeks. With any good base, I absolutely believe in garlic. You have to have it. It's not like a non-negotiable. But yeah, just gonna give it a nice little whack. It's great for the midweek stress reliever. It's going to keep it very rough, super simple, and we're gonna go straight to the pan. So we're just gonna give it a nice good little drizzle of olive oil, and I definitely feel like cauliflower soup. It's nothing that our little knob of butter. Don't be shy. Pack it all in. The trick with this is to make sure that it softens and it still stays a beautiful vibrant green. Cooking in 30 minutes or less is generally about multitasking. So while this is softening, we'll get our stock. We've got our grill on and we get that preheating at the moment. Now we're gonna go in with our cauliflower, some water straight from the kettle, adding a little bit of veggie stock. We're just gonna put the lid on and let that go for about 15 minutes. So what I've done is I've taken inspiration from the Woolworths chia butter garlic ripe breads and we're going to be using those and putting this delicious cheese sauce on top. So because we wanna keep it nice and toasty, I'm actually gonna pan fry these you know, just to get like a proper, oh, hello. Okay, so it's literally just been like a minute or two and that's exactly what I'm looking for. Yum. Okay, so for our little Welsh rabbits, because that's, this is essentially all they are. I'm just going to go straight from the packet. Fast free, less dishes. These go under the grill probably for like three to five minutes until they're really like bubbly and golden and delicious. Okay, so we've added our soup into our nice big blender. I've let it cool down a little bit, as it's not always good to add super hot things to a blender, but now we're adding some nice cold milk. Obviously, if you're feeling very lush, you can do cream instead. So, easy peasy cauliflower soup, smooth and velvety. Dinner in 30. Never looked so zhuzhy. Sometimes I keep aside some of the leeks. And then, chorizo, spicy, with a beautiful bit of paprika oil. And there you go. Even sage agrees. Like comfort in a bowl. 